on Coin 6. I know a conductor that travels with a lot of the traveling Broadway mm -hmm. shows, and he says, the Keller has a reputation as the worst orchestra pit to conduct Aww. an orchestra mm -hmm. in, yeah. in the whole U.S. So mm -hmm. I think everyone agrees it needs to be you mm -hmm. know, we need a new venue. It's just, yeah. where is that going to be? Because they yeah. get all the big shows, the big Broadway yeah. shows. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so weather-wise, I walked yeah. out today in my sleeveless dress. And <laughs> I think I was thinking of yesterday, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's cold. Here, uh, yeah. Come get my fleece. I'll make yes. you feel better. Let me roll up oh. my jacket. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be kind of just chilly down here. <laughs> and, you know, it's only going to get cooler here mm. in the next 24 hours. And this is all due to a major storm system that's pushing its way on shore right now, keeping the cloud coverage overhead. And maybe, just maybe, one or two of those clouds will be able to throw a raindrop or two our ways. We are sitting on the cooler side of things. 70 degrees right now out of PDX, keeping that cloud coverage through the rest of the evening as those temperatures slide back into the mid-60s. But overall, working our way towards sunrise, the widespread cloud coverage is really going to act a bit more like a blanket for us. So those cooler temperatures you disliked, Jenny, earlier today, well, they'll transition to a more milder start for the day tomorrow. But our temperatures, yep, they are much cooler compared to where they were just about 24 hours or so ago. Down anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees cooler than we were, were just yesterday afternoon. As our temperature almost hit 90 degrees just yesterday. And you'll notice a bit of a roller coaster ride over the past week or so. And that trend is just going to continue as we work our way towards the weekend. As our dry stretch of weather amounting to eight days now of of rain free skies. The last accumulative rain was back on June 17th, where we picked up on just a couple of one hundredths of an inch of rain. But at least the start of June was uh, very beneficial in the rain department, picking up about an inch and three tenths of rain. And on average for the entirety of the month of June, just a little bit more than an inch and a half. Now, will we get to that point? Well, it's all still up in the air, as is the rain, as the cloud coverage is still widespread and picking up on just a few raindrops out along the Oregon Washington coast that has the potential to become more widespread as we work our way into tomorrow. But the thunderstorm threat still remains for much of eastern Oregon, eastern Washington, where a marginal risk for severe weather remains over the central regions of Idaho, parts of Montana. That's about a one out of five chance to see severe thunderstorms. So just garden variety for us today. Tomorrow it starts to track its way further off to the east, clearing our skies of the potential lightning threat and reducing the wildfire concern as an upper level low pressure system keeps us on the cool side at least for the next day or two. And then we gradually start to see the jet stream stabilize, kind of flatten out overhead, if not even a very mild ridge starting to build that will bring back those mild temperatures as our daytime highs approach the 80s by the end of the week. So that roller coaster ride just continues with our future cast, really showing that our chance to see some rain showers happens just after midnight tonight, anywhere from the coast to the high terrain at the Cascades with that nice onshore flow continuing. And then as we work our way through the rest of the afternoon hours tomorrow, those clouds start to break apart. Maybe a sliver of sunshine as that rain potential really starts to come to an end. And then we start to see those winds become a little bit more out of the north come Friday. More sunshine and warmer temperatures than are expected. But before we get there, we got to fill up our rain gauges with maybe just a couple of one hundredths of an inch of rain. I think that that's a little bit on the generous side, especially with that nearly quarter of an inch possible for the coast. So for tonight, maybe an on again, off again rain shower. It's going to be mild out there thanks to the cloud coverages. We only fall to about 59. And as we work our way into tomorrow, the coastline 50s and 60s for us, the I-5 corridor, low 70s, upper 60s for parts of southwest Washington, seeing a decrease fire threat out towards the east and still mild but cloudy temperatures up in elevation. Seven day forecast. There you go. The 80s returning as early as Saturday with an increase in the cloud coverage after we get to enjoy a little bit more sunshine on Friday. But you'll notice as we work our way into the middle of next week, drier, sunnier and warmer weather does return. So that roller coaster ride, we are just uh, keeping those seat belts fastened tightly as we enter into the start of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't hold your hands up when you're no, on the roller coaster. No, no, keep a tight yeah. grip. No, I oh. never do. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Well, coming up, a major leak for an upcoming Supreme Court decision. How? The major abortion.